Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars to row. So in my meditative pre-cut, I see that you have an enemy that has been trying to spread gossip and slander. They've been spying on you, stalking your social media. They are jealous and angry because their attempts to control you are failing. And you are exposing this individual just by shining like the brilliant star you are. So let's go ahead and look a little deeper into this energy. We have justice. You will have justice in this situation. You may be currently in a court situation with this individual. If you are not in court situation with this individual, I do see that this person may go to jail for what they are doing. If they go to jail and it's not specifically because what they are doing to you, they're going to get caught up by the law for something unrelated but it is their karma god will remove this individual from your life you will experience deliverance what else would you like the collective to know we have the ten of pentacles We have the Chariot and the Two of Cups next to the Two of Swords. This individual has, because they are too much of a coward to do things to your face, probably because they know it will not fly, it will not work, what they have been doing is behind the scenes gossiping and slandering and defaming your character, talking to anyone and everyone that will possibly listen to this individual in order to spin a different narrative over you and your life. I see that this individual is jealous of not only you, but of your connection. I see that you are in a loving union. You guys are balanced. You are at peace. You guys are very abundant and that's what infuriates this individual this person has spread lies about you in the past and what really grinds this individual's gears is your current energy your current presence the reality that people can see when they see you and your partner is that that wasn't true this person is getting exposed for the narcissist that they are. We have the Prince of Cups. I see that you are very confident. You are very emotionally balanced and intuitive. This individual cannot stand your relations or your beliefs in spirituality or with God they can't control you because you do not operate on the same three-dimensional constructs that they do we have the moon the nine of swords and the six of wands this individual feels that what they are doing is undetectable. They are doing things behind closed doors or in secret. They think that they won't be caught. They think that no one will ever know what it is that they are doing to you. However, when what is hidden is revealed about this individual, 
they are going to experience panic, grief, anxiety, loss. It is going to stress this individual out because they are going to be exposed. It is like this person has been living a lie because they are a lie. You will have success over this. We have the Three of Cups and King of Wands. I had mentioned earlier that this person is very angry, controlling, narcissistic. I told you that they've been spreading a lot of lies and slandering your name. They've been working with others because they obviously don't have what it takes to face you on their own. So they have to talk shit about you to anyone and everyone trying to rally up the troops to come against you. Convince people that you aren't what you are so that they will join them to come against you. We have the Five of Cups and the Ten of Wands. I had mentioned earlier that when what has been hidden and done in the shadows, done in secret, gets exposed on this individual, they will experience loss, grief. They are dreading this. This is this person's worst nightmare. This person being exposed as the fraudulent, narcissist, liar, and coward that they are is a nightmare for this individual. When they are completely exposed for what they have done, what they've been doing, and who they are, it's like they will lose everything because they put too much value on superficial, on fake, on image. It's like they care too much about what people think. They will be heavily burdened by the fact that you will be successful. You will continue to be abundant. You will rise over this situation. You will rise to the occasion. What else would you like the collective to know? We have the Eight of Wands. You will be exalted from this situation. God is about to show up and show out for you. Not only will you use this enemy as your footstool, not only will you step on them to rise to your next level, but God is going to force this individual to have to watch you rise, watch you shine. While they experience grief and loss because they are exposed for who they are. We have the Emperor. I do feel like the person that has been doing this is a masculine. And if they aren't a masculine, they are definitely in their masculine energy. They want to control you. This could even be a family member. They feel entitled to your abundance. They feel entitled to your energy. If this is not a family member, this could be someone that you have family with. This could be why you are already in court with them. We have the Eight of Cups. Transformation. Gives consolation in adversity. You will move on from this situation. God will remove you from this. You will rise and have success in this situation. God has seen the situation for what it is. It is very important that you remain receptive to what God has for you. God has a new opportunity for you. A new beginning. We have the Six of Cups. We have Motivation. Lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated. 
This individual has tried over and over again to destroy you, to make people see you in a different light. They want to humiliate you. They want to dim your light. They can't stand that you shine so brilliantly. Continue to shine. Continue to be the light. We have the Six of Swords. You are safe in this situation. You are protected. God is preparing your exodus. God will reveal this individual for exactly as they are. And then reveal to the world exactly who you are to him. You are God's chosen one. You are meant to shine. You are meant to be the light. You are meant to be abundant. You are meant to be stable. We have the sun. Restoration of life. Protection from adversaries. The sun out along with the moon. I had already felt the energy when the moon came out. And now we have the sun clarifying. What was done in secret. What was done in the shadows. Will be exposed. That's what has this person stressed out. I feel this individual may have done something against you, done something to you. You have spoken some truth about this individual. You have spoken some truth about what they have done. And this has this individual stressed, worried, anxious. That is why they are throwing this tantrum. You could call it narc rage if you would. We have five of swords. They're doing everything they can and they are not going to succeed. No matter what they say, no matter what goons and petty betties that they have believing their crud coming against you on some BS reason because they believe whatever they've been fed by this individual, it's not going to work. This person will experience a loss. This person will be humiliated. God will make sure to put them down to size. They are acting a little too high and mighty and God's about to show this individual who's in charge. God has heard your prayers. We have the hermit. And earlier when I split the deck, we had temperance. There's an importance to Remain in balanced energy. Keep your energy elevated. I'm sure this can be very frustrating. God wants you not to have any anger or bitterness in your heart. Pray for this individual. Pray for the situation. God has heard your limitations. You will be exalted. You will be delivered. I had mentioned earlier a need to... Be receptive for what God has in store for you. The way that you do that is by having forgiveness in your heart. By being at peace. By being in balance. You don't really have to do much of anything in this situation. All you have to do is be yourself. Be your highest self. Keep your vibration high. Let God do the work. We have the High Priestess. And we have the Wheel of Fortune, Metatron. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have Justice again. This situation, the effects, what little bit of effect that has been allowed to have on you, 
was only to prepare you for greater. It was to help you hone your senses. I see that you've had to use your intuition a lot in this situation. God is sharpening you, shaping you. Remain within integrity. Your gifts are being enhanced. We have the lovers. Focus on what's important to you. I do see that you are in a union with someone. And if you aren't, you will be. That is part of your justice. We have judgment. Atonement of errors. Destroys the power of enemies and humiliates them. I already said that this individual that's been coming against you will be humiliated. You will be exalted. You will be shining like the brilliant star that you are. The truth of who you are and who they are will come out for all to see. That is a nightmare for this individual. They will be deeply humbled. And if they aren't humbled, they will be humiliated. It doesn't really seem like this individual has the capacity for humility. But they do have the capacity to feel humiliation. And that might just be exactly what's in store for them. They're going to be heavily burdened. We have the Nine of Cups. I had mentioned that this was a nightmare for this individual. And that is exactly that. They will not have their wish fulfillment. What they have been trying to do will fail. Stay strong, collective. Keep remaining high vibrational. We have the Magician and the Four of Cups. God deflecting evil. Protection from weapons, safety, and travel. This individual can't stand your spiritual gifts. They can't control what they can't see. You have faith. You have otherworldly abilities. You have a strong intuition. You have the ability to hear God. To receive messages and downloads. This person tried so hard to prove that you aren't what you are, but yet you shine. Continue to rise. We have Seven of Swords. And we have Seven of Pentacles. It's like this individual has been sitting back, waiting, watching, stalking, observing. Trying to see, is what I'm doing working? Do they believe me yet? It's not. Don't let them. And then we have temperance. God is supporting you. Remain in pure energy. Keep a light heart. Keep your vibrations high. You will have success over this situation. Your enemies will be your footstool. I am going to leave this here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.